Hello and welcome to another session of Seneca Chemica where we're just looking at some very simple reactions, single replacement reactions. These are very basic in general chemistry or entry level chemistry and sometimes they're called a displacement reaction. So uh, we're going to do another kind as with many types you have some single metal, some elemental metal. Here we have zinc. Uh, it's probably got some oxidation on it or just reacted with the air. So here I have a piece of zinc. I'm just going to file it and stuff it up. It'll kind of make it a little bit cleaner and expose the pure zinc on the bottom. So you can see a little shinier there. And you have some kind of solution that has been dissolved, some ionic compound dissolved into water to make a solution. And here we have some lead nitrate in solution. So it's very simple. The reaction uh, has oxidation and reduction and a lot of good stuff with nomenclature and compounds and uh, all good stuff in general chemistry, but the reaction is very simple. So here we have some uh, normal test tube and some lead nitrate solution. Simply pour it in and to get it started, just drop the piece in. So here's the piece of zinc and we're just going to drop it right in. You don't have to mix it, the reaction should start right away, it just takes a little bit of time. So if you look closely here, the reaction is already occurring. Look at this piece of zinc. It was silvery, but now it's really dark. And what's happening is the lead is forming as a solid, and the zinc is going into the solution. That's harder to see, but you can see the lead is forming as a solid. I'm just going to shake it around. The solid lead is that dark black stuff and it is kind of flaking off. Some people say like, oh, it's growing or some fur grew on it, but no, that's the lead. And you can see that it is quite dark and you can put a scoopula or something in there or a stirring rod, just poke it around a little bit. And all that dark specks, all those dark specks are pieces of lead. Now you might be thinking, oh, this will happen with uh, anything. You just put any metal in there. But of course you know that's not true. Let's take the same lead, lead nitrate solution. Uh, we'll pour it back in this test tube here. And instead, let's put in a piece of copper. So here I have a piece of copper. And we'll put in the piece of copper instead into the lead nitrate solution. We're just going to drop it right in there. And same thing, you give it some time and you expect something to change, but in this case it will not. If you look at the activity series of metals, lead is above copper, therefore when you put a piece of copper in, the copper is less active and will not displace the lead. So here nothing's happening. So it's not true, it does not happen with every metal. Putting copper in lead nitrate will have no reaction before putting the zinc in the lead nitrate had a very observable, very acute reaction.